Hey everybody, I'm doing a solo playthrough of Sky Team. Um, and yeah, if you missed my original video, uh, please do watch that if you're looking to learn how to play. But this is basically, you're going to see how a game goes. So let's roll for the pilot. 6522. And I will place a 2 here and turn on that break. We'll roll one die for the co-pilot. It's a one. Um, you know, I think I'll put that here. Get a flap. Move this up by one. Then we have two, five, six. I'll put the six here, see what happens. Roll one die for the co-pilot. It's a three. Huh. Mm -mm. I'll put the three here. I'll put the two here. It's going to go to the right by one for the difference. And this is the higher number, so it tilts towards that number. Roll a die. Then we'll have a six. Nice. I um, think, actually, I was going to put it here, but then it would be way too high. So I'll put this here for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're moving one airplane up here. Then I have a five, which I could put anywhere. And I think I'll put this here for the coffee cup in case I need it for this final roll of the co-pilot, which is a three. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it here. Totals up to nine. It moves up one space, moves down one space here. So we're safe. All right. This will descend. Actually, we had this reroll um, that we should have gained. This will descend and we will start a new round. Okay. So I think the co-pilot will go first. I have to check the rolls. I think that's what that means, that this is pointing to the right. Um, we'll roll one die. It's a five. Hmm. One, two, three. I, need, I really need to remove these airplanes, so I'm going to keep the five and put it here. Um, I'll put the... I'll use a coffee cup, change this to a two. So at least remove this airplane. Because it's one, two. Roll a die. It's a five. Huh. Um. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have a six and a five, which is a ten, which means it will move twice. I need to put this down here, gain a cup. Roll a die. It's a six. Very high numbers. Goodness. Um, I'll put this here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remove that airplane. I don't know if I'm playing very strategically right now. And then uh, I will place this, but use a coffee cup and make it into a four. So that it descends closer to this airport by one spot. And then rolling this last die. It's a four. Put that here, because I have to. You have to place dice in these four sections, and that means I have to put this here. The difference is two. It goes to the left twice, because six is higher than four. So this comes down by one. We'll start again. All right, six, three, four, four. Okay, I really needed some lower numbers, but I'll figure it out. Huh, um... I will put the four here and turn the break. Roll one. It's a four. Really need a two. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one. Um hmm. put the four here. Now six, three, four. I think I'll use a six here for a coffee cup. Roll a die. Hope for a little number. Oh, ugh. okay. Well, I'll use this for a two. So I use a coffee cup for a two, so I can remove an airplane. I have a three and a four. Um, I have to place them in one of these two spots. So I'll put the put the three here. The difference between these two numbers, three and four, is one. This is the higher number. Go towards that one. And now we're balanced again. We'll roll one die here. 
It's a one. Um, put that here and hoping, oh no, because if I put this here, that's a five and it has to move down one. Okay, so I'll put this into a coffee cup. Put the four there because I have to and hope this is a really low number. Four. Man, this is not an easy game to play solo. So even if I use this to make this into a three, it's a seven and it has to descend by one and there's an airplane there. Gosh, man, some of these, you know, plays are just super quick, but that's kind of what I like about it. You can kind of squeeze this in during a lunch break and look how little space this takes up. Like, yeah, there's a lot of little pieces involved, but this really doesn't take up too much table space, which uh, kind of is a, a winner for me. Um, and the solo variant works very well. There's just a lot of unknowns because you are rolling the dice for the co-pilot by, uh, one by one, but still works, at least in my opinion. Let me know if you've played this variant before. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I'll end this video here. There's probably the quickest game of Sky Team ever, but that's how it is. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.